good morning in this video we will look into the basics of the uh, linux command line instructions first you need to log on to ubuntu click the demo the username and write the password this was the password you gave while installing the uh, during the installation of ubuntu on virtual machine It will take few minutes to load the Ubuntu screen desktop. Here, you click on the show applications, the nine dots. It will show all the applications and there we want to open the terminal. So, you, you try to write terminal and it opens the terminal. Here is the command line prompt. So this command line prompt, you will see certain informations. This is the username. The one I am highlighting, this one is the computer name. Okay, so here you can type what are the Linux commands. You can type and you can able to see those results. So this is how to access the command line. So this is having the administrative privileges so this account is having the privileges okay let's start with the basic commands so the very basic command is um, about the manuals okay let's say hold on a second Manual MAN. This one is the short form of the manual. It will show the details of a command, like any uh, Linux command line commands, instructions. So, when man, man, then it will show the manual of the command MAN. So, the guide mean to say what are the commands available and how to use this command all those reference can you see here the reference manuals are are displayed so if you come across your details if you want to go it's written here press q to quit okay yeah so it comes back to the uh, command prompt now let's let's see another command ls ls means listing so it will list the directories and the files in this current folder so i'm in the um uh, i'm in the home directory which is demo so this is the home directory and inside the home directory what are the files and folders you know in linux unix and command line arguments we call folder as the directory so what are the files and folders in this home directory will be displayed so these are the files and folders in the home directory the blue color one are the directories folders i mean the white color one are the files okay so this is the text file and these are all the directories let's say if i say list and then and then minus i mean iphone iphone a it will list all the files and directories including the system files system directories so the white color one so you will see the uh, white color one with the dot so that is the files you see uh, blue color one with the dot that is the system directories okay and there is another listing ls and then iphen l here these are the folder cells not the system folders just the user created what are the folders that's available to the user which are the files and folders the user can use it okay along with the list you will see some other details so this is there are some meanings to this details the one here is the one here is the user who created it maybe it's in arabic this one is the date and time when it was created and the number here is the bytes so the size of the file or folder and this is the um, user the group and here comes the privileges what is given to the user group and others so it goes by uh, 
the first character which is d here sometimes it is hyphen that shows whether that item is a file or a directory d is return means it's a directory see for this document dot txt it's hyphen so that means it's a file the next three characters which is rwx that is the privileges given to the user okay r means read w means write and x means execute so that is the privilege given to the first is uh, privilege given to the user and the second three sorry second uh, the three characters rwx this is for the group the permission group permission and the last three for other permission sometimes if the thing written it should go in the order read write execute if something is missing with the hyphen that means that privilege let's see here read execute write is missing so write privilege is not given to the uh, this is group permission okay for the desktop okay so this is about the listing so three types of listing we see here simply ls display all files and folders ls with hyphen a display every file all the files including the system files and directories and ls with l it will it will display the privileges now let's move on to how to change the directory change directory so cd so this is the change directory if i want to go to the directory maybe i i want i want to go to documents because this directory home directory arm and home directory it has many directories documents downloads music pictures let's let's see how to go to the how to change the directory to documents so now can you see the prompt command prompt arm in the directory documents see the prompt is now changed you can see from the prompt where are you currently and you can able to understand if you if you don't want to under if you don't understand the command line prompt we have a command call w p w d present working directory it will show where are you now so i'm in home directory home directory demo and the um and, and under that i am inside the documents this is the present directory okay now if if you want to create a directory under the documents you can make use of make directory another command call make directory what is the directory you want to create for example this is the name of the directory so it creates a directory new directory under the documents i want to see whether there is no error messages so the command works fine so now i want to see whether the directory is created or not let's type listing ls you will see uh, basically i already created some other directories which which i created it like ds ns and os along with that just now i created 314 this is also displayed okay so these are all i i created like um, before okay it's not the system one these are all by myself okay let's assume that i want to create some other directories so like two three uh, two more directories so you you don't have to write one by one you can write one shot like this dir make directory all 360 this is one and one more is like this so you can list all the names with the spaces in between no commas with the spaces in between and press enter so all these directories might have been created let's see the listing you will see all of them it's all uh, in in order like ascending order can you see that displayed in um, order okay if you want to change the directory to one of them so make use of the cd so cd i want to move to 314 so i am inside look at the command prompt the prompt shows you where are you now currently if you want to see uh, clearly make use of the command pwd present working directory so you are in cs314 okay fine now you want to go back directory or the home directory there are two ways to or uh, three ways to go uh, first way is when you say cd and then double dot in between there is a space 
this double dot goes one level up. What do you mean by one level up? You are in 314 and one level up is documents. So let's see that. It goes, it moves one level up. Yeah. Sorry, it should be CD and then double dot. There is um can you see there is a mistake in the command CS. It should be CD. So it says command CS not found. So if there is an error message, you will see the message down. So let's type the correct command CD and then double dot. There is a space in between. So when you type, you will go to the parent directory, one level up. So C is 314, above is documents, above is your home directory. Okay, so let's see that one, one level up is home directory. Okay, there is one thing else. Let's see, let's move back to documents and then move back to CS314. Okay, there is another way to go back to the, um, to the previous directory or parent directory is use just a CD. Let's see, when you say CD, it jumps straight to the home directory. Okay, CD, just move back okay to the home directory and there is one other way to do that is um cd and then iphone Okay, there is one way is CD. Uh, it's not hyphen. It's uh, we call it character sign. Okay, just a second. CD and then carrot sign. You know, carrot is a symbol. It's near to the uh, alphabet Q. You know, in your keyboard, you will see this carrot sign. It also moves the change the directory to the home directory straight away. Okay, but I'm already in the home directory, so you can't able to see it. Let's see. Uh, go back to documents, and then go to CS three one four, and now let's see CD space and carrot symbol um, change the directory to the home directory. So there are three ways. Uh, just type CD. Uh, when you type cd it goes back to the home directory when you type cd and the caret sign also moves to the home directory and there is one thing cd with the double dot moves to the parent directory one level up okay so this is about the three ways of changing directory and sometimes you created a directory let's let's go back to documents and then cs314 uh, when you see, uh, okay, 314, um, let's see, CD and then 314, C is 314. See, when I type uh, a command wrongly, it shows uh, error message. Okay, now let's type it correctly. When you list the uh, files and folders, it doesn't show anything. It comes back to the prompt, means there is no folders or no files. No directories or no files. So you want to create a file. Yeah, you can do that using a command called echo. So let's type echo and then what are the, what, what you want to write uh, inside the file? Like, like you want to write like uh, this is a class. So this is the message I want to write inside the file and it goes it, it i want to save it in a file so you need to use a, d, a redirection operator 
we call it redirect operator greater than sign and the name of the file uh, let's say file1.txt this is a text file txt the name is file1.txt so press enter the file is already created you want to see press I mean type listing so here previously when i type list there were nothing now when i type list there is one file call file1.txt so what is the content of file1.txt use cat command cat file one dot txt ah, this is the lab class you see before we type in the command echo so that is the content the file has it now there is one other way to use um, um, use this echo is we can have the content of a file moved to another content okay so that is the one we can do it here use echo and then file1.txt and then file2.txt so let's see listing ls so now we created two files file1 and then file2 so let's see the content of file2.txt okay so this is the file2.txt so it, it contains the whatever you type it here so it is there already so this is content of file2.txt
okay now let's move on to cd uh, another form of uh, changing directory cd and and um, um, when you want to change you don't have let's say uh, the root directory the home directory with virtual box have, and from anywhere you can go straight like write a double dot and then a, a slash double dot means home directory um A double dot here means parent directory. For the home directory, the caret sign backslash and then downloads. So it will go straight to the downloads. Yeah, can you see the command prompt here? It was documents CS314. Now it is in downloads. So you, you don't have to go back to the um, root directory which is the home directory and then go to downloads uh, you don't have to do that thing so you can straight away uh, from anywhere you can change the directory to anything okay let's see one more so if you are in downloads maybe you want to go to uh, music which is where is music music is under home directory okay. so cd and this is the this means you go back to the home directory. Carrot sign, go back to the home directory, slash, and then you are going to the music. So you see here. So this is the way you can change the um, change the directory. Let's see one more. I want to go back again to CS14. So CD root directory means carrot sign slash documents. And then under documents, CS314. So it goes back to the um, control C because I wrongly enter the command. So CD, caret sign, backslash, sorry, slash, documents, and then CS314. Make sure there is no commands. Sorry, no errors in the commands. Now we, I'm back to the CS314. So this is the way you can change the directory. You don't have to change one step at a time. You can straight go from anywhere. Okay, that is one thing. Another thing is sometimes you may want to delete a file. Let's say the CS314 has two files. File 1, file 2. I want to read 2. So very simple. Write rm and what is the name of the file? File2.txt. So that file will be removed. When you list, you won't able to see that file. Okay. This is um, one thing. Uh, let's let's try one, one other uh, example. Let's create a file. So, instead of creating a fresh file, I want to create a file which is very similar to file1.txt. You know, we normally do a copy and a moving, something like that. So, let's try to copy. So, after copying, we can able to see this uh, removing. Okay. For copy, you will, you have to write cp and then, yeah. And what is the source? Source is file1.txt engine. So I want to copy this file to another file. That is file2.txt. So let's see the um, listing. Both the files are there. What is the content of the file1.txt? Uh, this is a lab class. So how about the file 2 txt txt should be the same because i copy the file so the content will be copied only the name is now different so when you list you have two files file one file two so after copying yeah similarly you can able to remove using rm whatever okay so this is one thing another thing is uh, sometimes you have a file in your um, uh, folder let's say both the files file 1 file 2 are having the same content now i want to move file 2 to uh, maybe another folder the folders i have i don't have anything here okay maybe to the documents i want to move file 2.txt to documents so we have a command called mv mv means move 
So what I want to move file two dot txt where I want to move uh, to the documents. So so for the documents um, you can say double dot is for the parent directory documents is the parent directory okay so you can say go to the parent directory and under that you can move it okay then so you can you can say like that file one dot txt i'm going to copy a file uh, file one as file two so i'm going to have two files here see uh, i copy the file one as file two now let's try to remove CS242, which has a file. So remove, RM means remove. I'm planning to remove a directory. So I find D and the name of the directory is CS242. Okay. So there is an error message says, uh, cannot remove CS242 because directory is not empty. So mean to say it has a file inside. So in this case, uh, we say remove and then minus R. And then the name of the file, CS, or name of the directory, CS242. So this minus R removes the uh, non-empty uh, directory or non-empty folder. So which means that it's already having something. So let's see the content of, uh, sorry, um, uh, content of or uh, the listing of uh, documents. So, uh, when we list LS, you see CS242. Now when I list LS, couldn't able to see CS242. It's because the directory is, uh, it has been removed already. With the content to remove is minus R, I mean to say hyphen R, without content is minus D. So let's assume um, DS is a directory here, I wanna remove. So remove minus hyphen D, and then the name of the directory is DS. Because DS is empty, so uh, there is no issue to remove it. You won't see DS here. If there is a content, means some, something is inside the directory, use hyphen R. If the directory is empty, just like that, remove hyphen D. So that's about the removal. Same RM is used to remove. Uh, file and directory but for directory you will be writing an option called my iphone d okay so this is about the lab one which is uploaded in the blackboard okay, thank you